Hey girls and guys, it's Presley, and today in this video, I'm going to be talking about being a minimalist. Now, I must say, being a minimalist for me has made my life a lot easier. I've been a minimalist for like a few years, maybe more than that. Um, as you can easily tell by my background, there's not a whole lot of stuff on my, hanging up on my wall. All you can see is my dream catcher, my diploma, and other certifications. You can also see my fan back there too, just um, sometimes whenever like I'm not in sort of cover up view because some of the stuff I cover up is usually my fan or my dream catcher. I'm usually in this angle or whatever, <clears throat> excuse me. But before that, before all of this stuff, it was just bare. It didn't have a whole bunch of shit whatsoever. Like, um, obviously when I was like 12 or I still had some like childhood stuff. Like I had some, like something hang up on my wall next to there. It had the words dream with little hooks near the end of the letters, but they were, um, I got rid of those. Um, I got rid of, um, a bunch of other childhood stuff that I didn't want, but I still kept some childhood stuff that I still want to keep because I don't want to throw away every childhood stuff that I have. Just want to keep some things that I want to have like this for an example. This, for an example, I've had this since I was in kindergarten, and I picked, I had this when I was um, picking it out of a toy chest for kindergarten. The teacher said, just go pick an item, and I was picking something else, but then my old friend, quote unquote, wanted to get this, but I beat her to it. So this is the little story of this thing, and it's really a cute little angel kitty. I really like it. So that's just an example of the childhood stuff that I keep. And clothes, for an example, I don't have a bunch of clothes. And that saves me a lot of money, too, because not having a bunch of clothes can be a good thing. But sometimes my mom can get a little tired of me wearing the same clothes all the time. So every once in a while, she just takes me out shopping, much to my dismay, because I'm not a big fan of clothes shopping. Or shoe shopping, to be fair, because I don't wear a whole lot of pairs of shoes. I have two pairs of flip-flops, one pair of tennis shoes, one pair of Crocs, and one pair of, like, slides. That's basically it. I have, like, five pairs of shoes. I used to have, like, one or two pairs, but then I asked my mom, like, a year or two ago to get me a shoe, ra a shoe rack because I have a lot of, you know... Getting more shoes, but it's still not a whole bunch of shoes because five pairs isn't a whole bunch. So, as you can tell by everything, just me being a minimalist, I like it. It just makes my life easier. It's just not a whole lot of things to, you know, keep up with and worry about. There's two different kinds of people, obviously. One who keeps a lot of their things and has a hard time getting rid of them. It's probably a hoarder. And two is people who are minimalists, don't like to have a whole lot of stuff and just save money, which is me. I'm not a cheapskate because I do like to spend stuff whenever it's necessary because I used to like spend a lot of money on stuff when, uh, when I was younger because I was younger. But now when I browse online or look, um, go to the store, and think that I want something, I rethink about it and say, do I really want this? Because what good will it do if I want it? Like, if I really want it or if I really need it, because want and need are two completely different things. And I've learned that my junior year of high school. So, wants and needs are two completely different things. And that... Everything's different whenever you like to keep things and have a hard time letting them go and giving them away to Goodwill or Salvation Army or wherever. Or if you like to be a minimalist and not keep a whole lot of stuff and save more money. But then again, I'm not a cheapskate. I don't like to, you know, preserve money. Because there's going to be times where you're going to need to spend money and not save too much. 
at the same time, because I've seen extreme cheapskates on the internet. Those people, I am not like those extreme cheapskates whatsoever. I'm completely different than a bunch of other people like them. So, <clears throat> excuse me. So, that's all I have to say about this week's video about me being a minimalist and stuff like that. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like, comment, share, subscribe, all that jazz. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.